Hi Virgo, it's Tuesday. We're going to do a read for you guys. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It is general. Cannot resonate for everyone. Please take what resonates, leave the rest. Never force it. Um, if it doesn't resonate, be sure to check your other sign. If it does resonate, you should check your other sign. Sometimes the previous videos will just add to your story and they'll correlate. Um, what else? What else? Thank you for visiting my channel. I hope you will hit like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. I choose, I give away readings randomly through the comments. I love to hear where you guys are from. So if you're a subscriber and you leave a comment, you might get chosen for a free reading. What else? Um, is that everything? Roles can be reversed. They can intermingle, flip-flop around, as you know. The Empress. Looks like you've got someone on your mind taking action. These cards are active. Looks like we're going to get a, a strong reading here. Goodness, you see that? They just keep coming out. Queen of Wands. <clears throat> All right. Taking action, forward movement. All right, let's see what's going on in the re <laughs> oh my God. I can't get through a whole shuffle. Page of Wands, communication. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Magician, could be an Aries involved, Knight of Pentacles, so stability. Maybe we should just let the card fly. Seven of Swords, Five of Wands, fleeing and getting out of conflict, leaving conflict. I have a feeling you guys are getting kind of leaving, um, I'm not saying leaving a situation, but leaving the hard part of a situation. Maybe some conflict and strife. And things are getting smoother. Strength, Leo. All right, let's get started. I'm going to do one more shuffle, and then we'll draw from the top. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, please. Here we go. All right, we're going to do your energy at the top. There's down below. Recent past on the left. Advice outcome on the right. And I'm not sure what we're going to do in the center yet. Okay. So your current energy, Ten of Wands. This is Ten of Wands is about, you know, you're weathered, you've carried a heavy burden, but you're not giving up, you're still going. You know, it's perseverance, which is you. Death card, that is transformation. You know, something ending could be a situation. I don't feel like it's with someone. I feel like it's a situation with someone ending and it's transforming and I think we're gonna have a good outcome. Ten of Swords, that's a painful ending. Okay, let's look at their energy. The Chariot, Cancerian energy, forward movement. Could be travel, could be moving, could be a lot of things. Let's keep going. Two of Wands, this is making a heavy decision. You know, it's not about what color nail polish you're going to get. Or if you're a guy, if you're going to shave your beard, you know. It, this is about a major life decision that involves you and others. See how he's got the whole world in his hands? All right, so that's in your person's energy. Rules can be reversed. Wow, two of cups. Looks like they're making a decision to move towards you. I feel like there's been some difficulty in the past. And that is coming to an end. It, and it's been painful. But there's perseverance going on. Maybe you put your foot down. Maybe you um, held your ground on the standards that you want. And it, if that's the case, it looks like this is, you know, coming around in your favor. This is not bothering me. I'm not feeling, I'm feeling like this pain and this, whatever's ending here is strife and conflict with the same person. And it's you know, behind you, but that's what you're thinking about. All right, we're going to do current mutual energy in the center. A stable new beginning, communication, patience. Seven of Pentacles is waiting, being patient. You put a lot of work into this. I'm, I'm really feeling good about this read so far. Could be an Aries involved. The Emperor is, again, like I just said, it's about boundaries holding your ground. The emperor is the, you know, king of all kings. He encompasses all the strengths of all the other kings. This is about mana being able to manifest. It's a, could be a husband, father, but it's about strength and confidence and knowing your value. Okay. So this is all looking really, really good. All right. Recent past eight of pentacles 
could be focused on stability, um, working hard towards something, very being very diligent, focused attention. Five of Cups. So there was, see, there was some pain in the past. You know, Five of Cups is about um, pain and regret. We're going to clarify all this. Somebody missing an opportunity or not, not realizing what they're being offered. You know, kind of just up in their head, not, hold on just a sec, let me pull that in. I feel like there's something here where somebody has been kind of a little too nonchalant and maybe not realizing or not fully valuing what they were being offered. You know, a little just spaced out, not really quite getting it. Um, let's look at advice out, look at that for the outcome. Recognition, so the, rec the advice, recognition, the advice outcome, we've got six of wands. This is about glory, victory, success, and recognition. I feel like you haven't felt recognized or valued by your person and that is turning around and you've held your ground, you've stayed in your emperor energy and that is what you needed to do and it is coming full circle for you. Okay, King of Cups, somebody who's in control of their emotions. King of Cups isn't quite as expressive about their emotions, but they feel a lot of emotion. So there is a lot of love here. Magician, we have Aries energy again. Magician is about manifesting and having all the tools you need to manifest what you want. Um, again, this looks pretty cut and dry, pretty simple. Things weren't going so well in the past. It looks like somebody that you were interested in was not getting it. They were not seeing you at full value. You held your ground. You gave a lot, um, but you held your ground, and now it's coming around. Because in their energy, we have forward movement, we have making a choice, and we have two cups. Okay, beautiful. like it. Bottom of the deck, we have temperance. So temperance is all about, you know, self-control, balance, not giving too much or I think that there might be um, a little bit of a lesson there too. Let me let me go back to that. We'll put that here. Um, okay. Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups is walking away, being able to um, walk away, but even so you have a lot of love, right? Nine of Wands taking action. Okay, so with the Temperance card, this is what I said we'll come back to. This is what the message I was pulling in. Very strong here. Tempering your impulses, controlling, balancing your impulses, maybe to overgive. You possibly were in a situation where it wasn't equal reciprocity. You were giving more. They weren't appreciating it. You're holding your ground, and it's coming around for you. Let's see if we get anything else. I think that's it. But let's see what else we can get. <clears throat> Whoa. Wow, look at that. Four of wands. That's a happy union, happy life, happy wife. So your message here is things have been hard in the past, but you're holding your ground. You know what you want. You're staying in your emperor energy. And this per and your person is now seeing you were you were willing to walk away. Okay, even though you love them, or maybe you did walk away and they came back towards you, or they're going to come back towards you. So hold your ground. If this hasn't happened yet, hold your ground and it's going to come back around. Because your person just kind of was like not quite getting it, not quite valuing it until they saw that they might be losing you. And then that brought forward action, or that is about to bring forward action. Let's see if there's anything else. This is beautiful, guys. Love it. Strength card self-control again queen of wands self-control on your actions you know so if you're holding your ground you know stay in that energy um you can be sweet let them know how you feel you don't you know don't play games be honest but also hold your ground and you know temper your your actions don't overgive is what i feel like is wanting to be said here don't overgive
happiness. It's going to happen, you guys, if it hasn't already. This is beautiful. Everything is coming together. It's happening. Look. New passionate beginning. So whatever you're doing, keep doing it. If it hasn't come around yet, it's going to. They are seeing your value. They're seeing your worth. It's working. Look, another one. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Ace of Pentacles. Not only is it a stable, stable new beginning, but it's a passionate new beginning. Good job, guys. You guys are doing what you need to do and it's paying off. Sustain your emperor energy. Victory and success are coming. If you aren't seeing the signs of it yet, hold your position because it's coming. Okay. Yay. Love this. Okay. Love you guys. Leave me a comment. Let me know. And I will see you guys soon. Oh, full moon. Beautiful, beautiful, very powerful full moon. Make sure you set your intentions, make them clear, send them out. And I will see you guys soon. Bye, Virgo.